This just in! Netflix She-Ra was ruined by an old white dude, not a woman of diversity! Oh yes, we can actually play the patriarchy card. This is a parody video. I am Mecca. And everybody remember Netflix and She-Ra and the bad one, this one. This one, the bad one, where they made them all a bunch of gender people obsessed with pronouns and he, hers, and she, thems, and she, it, doll peoples. Hi, my name is Erin. I use she, her pronouns, and I am the same. I do, I remember that. And guess what? Netflix She-Ra is not destroyed by a diversity whammon. It is now destroyed by a old white dude. Oh, I have proof, but first I have to wonk myself over the, wonk? We gotta wonk ourselves into the corner. Why not? That's a word. That's a real life thing. It's real. Here we go, She-Ra and Nimona Creator updates fans on the new name and pronouns. Now the creator of She-Ra is an old white dude. Not even a creator, the creator of the Netflix abomination. You know, the garbage one where everybody was in and out of bed with each other and it was all about shipping. You know the one that was for the 30 year old incel sort of whammons who have never left their parents' bedroom. Their parents' bedroom, well, hey, you never know with these people. They might have been sleeping in their parents' bed their whole lives for all we know. Ew. No judgment here, because I don't have children and I'm not protecting anybody's reading, think of the children's stuff. Now, now, that's the real writing crop. There, this is better, this is better with the green screen. We get on camera, Mecca, for about a second. I still gotta finish drying my hair. I had to talk about this one, though. Really? Welcome to the patriarchy. You're fighting yourself now. Good on ya. No, don't just sound all seriousness. If people want to transition, I'm not going to be upset with them for that. This isn't an anti-trans video, so get the other side of the internet. Get your panties out of your they them butt cracks or whatever. This is a video to point out and laugh at She-Ra again, basically. The Netflix crap. Because as you guys know, I really liked... The He-Man and Masters of the Universe franchises all my, again, just all my life, really. And I've been collecting all the toys again because of the new, because of the new one, the Kevin Smith one. And we liked that one ironically because of how cringe it was. <laughs> and we got in trouble for that, didn't we? So, so here we go. The new creator, the new destroyer of She-Ra is now a dude. Welcome to the patriarchy, creator of She-Ra. That's not even a creator. The person who, who just traced and copied and pasted somebody else's work. That's tracing. They pasted somebody else's work and creations and character design and development. And it basically other people did all the heavy lifting and all hard work for these people. And they still couldn't make it good or watchable. You had 90% of your universe and stories and characters created for you. And you still couldn't do this. And you still couldn't do this. So in a heartfelt post on his website, Nate Stevenson, who goes by N.D. Stevenson professionally, shared an update with his fans regarding his gender identity. Hello, I have something to tell you. My name is Nate and my pronouns are he, him, but I am not entirely a boy, he said. I have chosen a male name and male pronouns because this is how I want to interact with the world that demands we choose one of two. But I am not one of two. So you're you're appropriating the patriarchy for what, jobs now? Because this would be non-binary, wouldn't it? But how, how be it for me to tell anybody how to live their lives? I mean, look at me, look at me, right? Stevenson went on to say that he would be keeping his middle name Diana as a way to paying tribute to the other side of him. I may keep it hidden and close to my heart, but I am not ashamed of it. It's mine and no one else's. It was important to keep my initials, he continued. And truthfully, I wanted a name that fit in with my siblings' names. The acclaimed artist... Really? That This is acclaimed art? This is acclaimed art? Why didn't the show look like that? Why did the show look like garbage then? Uh... He claimed Iris gave him further into insight why he's not changing his professional no name. N.D. Stevens. I like that it keeps a connection to my past work. This is one of the issues that I, and, and, and in all seriousness, all, all jokes aside, right? I always wonder what would happen with Elliot Page. We know that Elliot Page used to be known as the actress Ellen Page, has transitioned to male, and we, we know that Jordan Peterson has gotten completely permanently suspended off of Twitter for not refusing to change pronouns or something. They, they apparently were like a whole bunch of, there was a whole bunch of uproar about quote unquote dead naming. Bring out your dead! 
when people use somebody's old name. And you know what I what happens when I go to Twitter? Let's just, let's just go to Twitter, for example. And let's type in, oh, in, in a GIF. We'll just do a response here. Uh, Ellen Page. There's plenty of posts of Ellen Page. Now, is Twitter dead naming? and offensive to the internet because somebody's past work is of a different gender and name? Or, or are we now progressive enough as a society where we are literally just treating this like a man or a woman taking their spouse's name? Traditionally, it's women, and I know that people are gonna be like, re-mention, take women's name, I don't care, it's not my business. I'm not telling other people how to live their lives, all right? I am telling people that is this the case here where we're we're progressive enough and advanced enough as a society and uh, tolerant and reasonable enough as a society to just treat these things like it's the spouse's name and it's somebody just changing their names to be married or something or are we using the pronouns and the renaming and the dead naming stuff as a way to get revenge on the world who's wronged us and destroy other people's lives because we're unhappy with our own? That's the question I have for the room for the Jordan Peterson stuff. Rob's job is going to be a lot harder because now he's got to add in all of these clips and articles of all this other stuff that this video progressed into but you know what that's okay because this is a video I did want to tackle today and I'm gonna go finish drying my hair because I just had that burst of creativity of welcome to the patriarchy Nate Stevenson formerly known as Noel Stevenson destroyer of Shira. I hope you are as happy as you deserve masculine words fit better overall and when in doubt gender neutral words like sibling child or spouse works just fine towards the end of his heart was see this is what people used to do if you couldn't tell if you can tell now now is that offensive to people you just can't tell of is it like the equivalent if you if you ask somebody their pronouns if you if they're just you know not the most obvious I suppose if they're ugly I say I think I'm trying to find a code word for saying is it like the same thing as when you ask a, a heavier woman if she's pregnant? Is that going to be offensive to people who aren't in the gender identity thing? I wonder, I wonder. Towards the end of his heartwarming comments, Stevenson said he's getting more comfortable moving through the world before thanking the fans for support. If you're reading this, I love you and I believe that you love me. I want you to know me as I am. Just please stop destroying Shira for self insert fanfic crap. Because Shira wasn't going through gender identity stuff. Shira wasn't going through shipping with Katra and for crying out loud. Sometimes you don't need to take somebody else's work to make it your own. That's cheating. That's just cheating. That's copy and pasting something else. I know you got the license and Netflix decided it's okay, but at, one, at what point in the universe can we just say enough copy and pasting of other people's work? We already got one. We already have Shira. I can go to Walmart and buy the series for 40 bucks. I can go buy Juno with Ellen Page starring in it, whoever the crap that person is now. They don't exist because they are dead. Not like I want to watch the movie anyway, because dear God, I don't want to watch a movie about a pregnant man. I am that guy, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Live stream, especially a teenage one, or whatever. Bye! Thanks for watching! If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button, and if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe! See you in the next video! Bye! It's like, when you think you're pregnant, but you really just have to take a big dump,